Uh, nah, we, we end up back at the village eventually. Okay, so... Okay, come out here, backcountry, and... Popham's there. See you on the way down. Getting warm and off the Really bad. Of them. And you can't really see it, but Mount Mackay is straight through there, which is Falls Creek, not far away. Dinner plane, whoop whoop. This is what they call doing snow. And not in the Melbourne way. <sighs> it's hard with the GoPro. At least you got to see it. The other side of Popham, Summit Chair, and the main village is just there. Skiing down backcountry, and well, it's half full of proof ice, which kind of sucks. Anyway, let's see how far we the gear get down there. Okay, so I'm not dropping in. My skins are still on, which you can tell by the little black things there. And if I go under, you can see the um, well. Sorry, you can see the blue carpet underneath. Um, that's different to the skis I had this morning. Um, my ones from this morning have the Aladdin print on them because they're a magic carpet. But um, Anthony's about to launch off there, hopefully. And we might see a spectacular crash or we might see a, well, really good landing and run out down into the bowl. So I'll wait for him to do that. I'll film it with you guys and just enjoy the views and everything that Hotham has to offer today. So if you ever wondered what it was like to skin versus boot pack, that's boot packing. 
He's a good guy. You. Frosty dress in suitable snow attire. The Australian oil skin and the hat from Colorado. How's it going? <laughs> Tolerable. Hello. Did you see my stuff? No. Was it good? Nah, I got it. What you get? Mm -hmm. oh. From bed that's um well i made it down the other run about half the way um ended up dropping a ski into the snow and completely destroying the knee and the ankle not much fun um as you can tell there and there it's swelling i'll get it on ice soon and yeah that's about it anyway got halfway down the run and then um thankfully frosty grabbed the ski that ran off down the hill and then I just walked down the run. Um, ski patrol dropped past, but by that stage, it's kind of too late. They can't really do too much. So up the lift and then straight through to the car, drove home. So recovery time. Whether or not I ski tomorrow is, um, well, I probably won't be. So I'm making, actually, I'm making cake tonight. And if I can bother, I'll film it. If not, um, yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> So this little addendum to the vlog is because I'm leaving buses and clear skies. My knee and ankle on my left leg are completely gone. I um, had a big crash yesterday and yeah, it's not exactly too much fun. So heading down the mountain, Frosty's on Mount Blowhard, which is here and I'm just trying to spot him. So they're hiking out of the bowl and should be down there somewhere. Um, gonna grab a few videos and um, clips from it all and then head off down to Melbourne. Four hours away and I'd rather be skiing but look that's life and time to go recover.
Okay, so I'm at Mount Blowhard, 1665 meters, and Frosty is, well, meant to be up there. He hasn't got skins on, which means he's going ultra slow, and, well, yeah, I'm just waiting. It sucks. I'm in shorts. One ankle's small, the other one's huge. One knee's small, the other one's huge. Fun times. So, yeah, camera's ready. Just waiting. Sorry for the uh, squinting here outside. Anthony, being the good bloke he is, is down there. Frosty, 10 minutes later, is still up on the summit. Come on, Frosty. This is so slow. Anyway, um, perfect day out here. Chains are off the car, Frosty and Anthony have run back off to, I don't know, ski and have lunch, I think. I'm heading down the mountain, it's gonna be boring from here, so I don't really need to do another road trip vlog. I'll say goodbye and see you on the next one.